Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Hasuian RK9. Oh my goodness folks. Take a look at these eggs. Alright, so we're going to be hatching these 7 kilometer eggs and I got every single thing I needed out of the first batch. I guess technically the only thing I would really want now is a high V Sneasel for a Sneaseler. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. I just made this. I made it on the nick of time for the Ultra League here. So we are in the Master League and the Hisuian Cup. We're going to be pairing it up with Trevenant and Toxicroak. And folks, if you could hit that like button, it would be much appreciated. Letting me know that you love to see these newer Pokemon. And you want me to keep going with these uploads like we've been doing for the past couple of days here. So folks, we did get a 5-0. We led with Arcanine the entire time. And I'm going with the unconventional move set, I suppose, which is going to be Crunch and Rock Slide. People are probably going to want to be going with that wild charge for that coverage up against the massive weakness to water that you're going to be having being fire and rock type. So we're having a little fun here and I figured I'm going to go with rock slide as well as crunch because I'm seeing a lot more Pokemon that are going to be weak to those as opposed to the wild charge. You know, we got the Talonflame, we got the water types floating around and stuff like that, but I see a lot of ghosts. I see a lot of ice and flying and fire. So we're going to go ahead and just use those charge moves. Do you want to use those? Give it a shot. But like I said, we are in the Master and in the Hisuian Cup. And I don't really recommend that you use this Arcanine in that cup, though. Because there's just too many weaknesses that it does have. It's going to be very squishy. So, of course, Toxicroak and Trevenant. We already know that these things are amazing. We did pair them up with the Snorlax before. And folks, we're getting a 5-0. I couldn't believe it. Look. Look, it's just incredible. So we'll, we'll focus on the battles here. Let's go ahead and see what we have going on. And I didn't even have my Toxicroak equipped for that first battle that we did take that win. So I'm going to keep it going here. Usually I cut it out in between, but I want you to see the entire 5-0 without any disruption. So you can see, it's not like they're fabricated, right? But I just want to make sure 100% that you can see this. Plus it's not that long of a video with the 5-0 here. So we have a Galvantula for our next lead. Okay, okay, okay. I figure they might go for a lunge here, but unfortunately they go for a discharge. Arcanine taking the hit like a champion. I really like this design on this thing. I really do. Although it's not my number one thing that I'm looking forward to with this new release. It was just the quickest one that I can get done with. For the Hisuian Quillfish into uh, Overquill, you're going to have to do like defeat 10 raids. And for the Sneasler, like walk seven kilometers or something like that. So you can't just do them instantaneously. But this one here, the Arcanine, you could just evolve it right off the bat here. So we're going to town. We've got the Trevenant in battle. Now, I have to say, leading with the Arcanine, Pokemon that lead tend to have a lot harder time than the rest of the Pokemon on the team. And once those shields are down, it's going to make the ones in the back look like everything's just a breeze. That's not to say that the Arcanine didn't do any good. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the performance. It was awesome, right? It did great. So, do you? Know, I mean, it's not like a massive decision. Evolve a Growlithe, a Hasuian one, when you evolve, or when you hatch one. Simple as that. There's really not much to discuss about it. As far as making an XL, eh, you can if you like this design. If you get like a hundred or something like that, you know, be my guest. We might get a Growlithe community today in the future, so you gotta keep that in the back of your mind that you might need to use an Elite TM. Anyways, we're up against a wall rain here with the Trevenant. We're going to go ahead and go for the Seed Bomb and taking out the wall rain. And we have that Drapion. We're going to go ahead and Shadow Claw them down and taking that win. I'm looking for the pause period in between the videos. I'm always used to it. But there is none because I just let it kept on flowing. So again, I got a 5-0. Athena got a big, big, big treat today after this here. So we're going to be met with a Surfetch horrible lead. So we didn't particularly have great leads. We're going to have a couple, I think like one or two. So we're looking at rock, paper, scissors. We're just being hard countered at every corner. But that is not going to stop me, folks, from pulling off a freaking 5-0. They let the Shadow Ball go, which was key. Let's get it. And we're going to go ahead and shield up this Flame Charge here to kind of put on the pressure. They're either going to let this go or use a shield. And that's exactly what I want them to do. Use a shield is more like it. Or let it go. Actually, either way, it's a win-win for me, to be honest. And if you're thinking, what do you mean win-win? You don't, you're not winning the swap here. Well, I'm going to be able to go in here and farm down with the Arcanine, which is a good amount of farm. Both of the charge moves are not going to be very effective to Surfetch, so we're going to have to immediately swap. And they have a Registeel in the back. Toxicroak, it's time to shine, buddy old Paolo friend. We will be swapping, or swapping, shielding up the Zap Cannon. Because, well, we need to preserve the health on this thing. And we've got to really rely on it. Arcanine is still... Not out of the fight yet. It still has work to do. Going for the mud bomb on the 
<laughs> I was going to call it Steelix. Registeel. Now, shields are down. If they have Brave Bird, I would assume they're going to go for it, and that's a Night Slash. At this point, I'm thinking, hmm, we're looking pretty good. They still have a shield left. It's not over. Plus, we're weak to the fighting, and we're going to be taking a lot of damage from uh, a Leaf Blade. So let's see what happens. We swap into the Arcanine, they go for a Night Slash, and we get off a Crunch ourselves, which is not going to be very effective, as well as the Rock Slide, not very effective. They survive, and we farm down with the Hasuian Arcanine folks, and we take that win, even with a bad lead. Man, Toxic Croak is just killing it. I'm telling you, everything is doing great. Trevenant as well. And this Arcanine, I had fun with it. Absolutely a blast. Again, not a big decision to make. It's in. It's just, you know, powered up a couple times, buy a secondary move, no big deal. All right, so we're met with a Wall Rain. This is a good matchup. We do need to look out for Rock Slide, and they're going to be swapping right on time to catch a Rock Slide with a what? Pre-Marina? Okay, so it's still doing a lot of damage, bringing them down to about a half. And we're swapping into our Trevenant here. I could have farmed up a little bit more, but I figured it doesn't really matter. And as soon as I saw this Talon Flame, I figured, oh, we are going to be able to align ourselves beautifully. They shield this up, and then what are they going to farm us down? I don't think they can really do that until maybe we can... I don't think we would have been able to get to another Shadow Ball, but it would have been close. Nonetheless, they go for the Wild Charge here. Now I'm laughing like, oh shoot, Arcanine, time to shine, buddy, old pal, old friend. And we're just going to align the Toxicroak with the Wall Rain. But I started realizing, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that Wall Rain has energy. Oh crap. And we just shielded up a Flame Charge. Now I'm like, ah, Brave Bird, that's not going to KO a Rock. Oh no, Arcanine just went down. That was a double attack boosted Brave Bird, so it's not Arcanine's fault, okay? It's still good. Unfortunate that we couldn't see it perform more, but the play is to let that go. Now shield this up, and we're gonna, we're not gonna, <laughs> you're not farming this down. That, that is not happening. So we're gonna have to go for a Mud Bomb, but build up enough energy for us to get to the Sludge Bomb just on time before they get to the Flame Charge, and we do it, folks. We take the win with the Toxic Croak, and we're killing it. Have enough blast. This is, this is the way to start your day with a 5-0 with a new Pokemon. And if you're a content creator, oh man, you're going to be on top of the world. I'm telling you what. All right, moving on to the next battle. Give this video a thumbs up, folks. Let's get it. Next battle, what are we going to see with this Arcanine? We're going to be... Oh, there we go. Finally, Talonflame. This is the lead you want to see with it. You're just... You're countering it through and through. All right, so we're going to go right for the rock slide here with this Arcanine. And they shield it up, swapping with energy and bringing in a... Wall Rain, and we swap into our Toxic Rogue here. Now, I'm going to have to call this, and I'm going to say, yeah, well, never mind. I don't call it. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. That was kind of quick, so we will be letting this go. At this point, we should be able to counter down if they get to another Icicle Spear. If they wanted to shield this up, then we will shield this up as well and use two shields because the lead was so good. They bring in their Talon Flame. As much as I wanted to shield this up and go for the Sludge Bomb, it's just not worth it to use that last shield. So we're going to let it go and obviously bring in our RK9. Star of the show here, getting to this Rock Slide as soon as possible and taking them out. Bye bye. And they have a Swampert in the back and we're just going to go ahead and just hard counter them to the absolute max. But if you did watch my last video where I was about to take a win, oh, I, I had, I was in control of this battle so well. Not this one, another one in my last video. Two shields flexing on them. They had no more shields left. It was down to my Trevenant versus a Swampert. And I had two shields. They hit me with a Sludge Wave and they beat me. Good. That's what I deserve. And we take the win there. Looking good. Is that it? We got the 5-0. It's not over yet, folks. I still have a treat for you. I'm going to show you what happens after you get a 5-0. You want to see? The ones out there who understand and can think for themselves already know exactly what you're about to see. You don't know what Pokemon it's going to be, but you know exactly what's about to take place here. And let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. All right. And we're met with a Tapu Fini. What do you know? Completely hard countered. Completely with the moves that we have. Swap into our Trevenant and they bring in a Scrafty. And I said, nah, I'm good. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine on that. It's not even really a try battle. You're just lost. Next one, we're met with a Shadow Needle Queen here. So we are going to be resisting the poison. So if we do call those, we're going to be looking good. Those poison fangs and poison jabs are going to start adding up. It's Needle Queen. It hurts no matter what. But we will be taken out in one shot with Earth Power because of the rock and the fire typing. So we need to be careful of that. Calling the Poison Fang though, but uh, that's pretty good. Saving ourselves a shield and getting one from them. We've gotten the defense debuff on their end looking good. And we're gonna go ahead and let this go as well. Hoping that we can get to our freaking charge move here. And they swap and they swap into an Umbreon and they farm us down with that quick move. If that's the path that they wanna choose, then hey, be my guest and go down that path. 
So we're gonna go ahead and bring in our Toxic Rogue here. We did shield up the first charge move just to play it safe, kind of feeling up what they are gonna be throwing at us. It was a last resort. I'm gonna have to say it's safe to assume they're not gonna have last resort in Psychic. So we're gonna go ahead and let this last resort go and then farm down or at least hope we can and we do fantastic. As I said in the beginning, Arcanine, is in the lead so it is going to be having a little bit of a harder time but you already seen the performance it's got nothing else to prove it did what it needed to do and this thing is amazing it's not like oh new meta killing it new meta so hardcore yeah it's something out there and it's new to use it's not like crazy good all right so we got a scrafty in the back here this is not particularly the best but it's also not the worst because of what position we do have we got the toxic croak back there but watch what they do here they thought they were slick so they let this go they wanted me to make sure that i took their health down so i couldn't farm them down with toxic croak and build up a bunch of energy oh come on i, I mean it's easy to see and that's a good strategy good good i'm not trying to downplay it but uh, you know they're trying to pull this battle through exactly all right, folks, and that's going to about wrap it up. Toxic Rogue's going to be able to take this win here. And if you did enjoy this 5-0 with the new Hasui and Arcanine, give it a thumbs up. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. Yeah.